Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to build a basic implementation of a blockchain data structure. Now I'm currently on Google's website, it's called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So if you're going to code along with me, go ahead and click on file, then click on new notebook where a new tab open up for you and then eventually a new cell open up for you. And in this cell I'm going to put in some comments. I'm going to put in a description about the program. So I'm just going to type here, this program simulates a blockchain. All right, next I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell by clicking this code button here in the top left. And in this cell, I'm going to import the library that I plan on using throughout this program. So I'm going to import hash lib. And then I'm going to run this block of code by clicking this button here to the left. And this will let me know if I made any mistakes. Also, before we continue, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button. And to be notified about new videos from this channel, hit that bell notification. Also, you can get the code from this video and from some of my other videos on patreon.com slash computer science. All right, and I'll put that in the description below. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's create a new cell. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a block class. So a block will contain some data. It's going to contain uh, the previous hash of the previous block, and it's going to contain its own hash. All right, so to create a block class, go ahead and use the keyword class, and then we're going to give it a name. So it will be block. All right, next I'm going to create a constructor for the block class. All right, so it's easy enough just by typing def underscore underscore in it underscore underscore, and then self and it's going to take in some data and it's going to take in some previous hash that I'm going to call pref underscore hash. Now self is used to represent the instance of the class and it's not necessarily a parameter here. All right so let's go ahead and continue and get rid of this here. All right okay so I'm going to create self dot data and I'm going to set it equal to our data variable from the parameter and then I'm going to also create self dot prev underscore hash and set it equal to prev underscore hash from the parameter. Okay, I think that looks good. Next, I'm going to create hash, so self dot hash. And I'm going to set this equal to a method that I'm going to create later on. So let's call it self dot calculate underscore hash or calc underscore hash. So this right here will calculate the hash of the block and assign it to this self dot hash attribute. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that method. So here we're going to create a method that calculates the hash. And we're going to do this using SHA-256. Okay, so just type def here and let's give the method a name. So we're going to call it calc underscore hash. So I'm just going to highlight all this, copy using control C, then come here and paste it using control V. All right, and then of course my left parentheses and right parentheses, and then I'm going to input self here. So next, I'm going to create a variable called SHA and set it equal to hash lib dot SHA256, left parentheses, right parentheses. So we're actually using that hash lib library here, and we're creating a SHA256 object. All right, so next, I'm going to update SHA. So I'm just going to type SHA dot update here. And we want to uh, put in the data, so self.data, but this method here needs data that's in bytes or bits. So we need to encode it. So just type dot encode and encode is just a, another word for convert. So we're going to convert the data into a coded format and we're going to use UTF-8 to do that. And UTF-8 stands for Unicode Transformation Format 8-Bit. All right. Also, you should note that SHA-256 itself is part of a set of cryptographic hash functions. It is short for Secure Hash Algorithm 256, and it converts data of any length into a fixed size string of 256 bits. All right. So that uh, that's, that's why this object is called SHA-256. Okay. So next, let's go ahead and return SHA-256 hex digest 
left parentheses, right parentheses, and then let's run this class. All right, so next let's go ahead and create a new cell. And actually, I might, might have misspelled this. Oh, well, let's run this again. Oh, we'll find out later on. So let's continue for now. Let's create the blockchain class. And that's easy enough by using that class keyword again and then giving this class a name. So we're going to call it blockchain. Then we're going to create a constructor for the blockchain class. So that's easy enough just by typing def underscore underscore in it underscore underscore self. All right. So we're going to create a variable called self dot chain. And we'll set it equal to an empty list. So this list will contain a bunch of blocks, hence the name blockchain, right? So the first block that we want to insert into the list is called the Genesis block. So let's create a method called create underscore Genesis underscore block. So we're going to create that method to uh, create our first block in the blockchain. All right, so right now we can see that the chain is adding this first block to our list. But like I said, we haven't created that function yet. So now we're finally going to create it after me talking about it so much here. So we're going to create a method that creates the first block in the blockchain, also known as the the Genesis block. All right, so just type def and then create underscore Genesis underscore block. And we need to input self here. Okay, so we're going to return. We're going to return a block, right? So we need to return a block object. And the block object takes in two parameters because we created it here. It's, it's going to take in data is going to take in the previous hash so the data that it's going to take in will be genesis block and in the previous hash there are no previous hash or no previous hashes so we're just going to input the value zero for now right because there there will never be a previous hash this is the first block so even though i said for now i don't know why i said for now this will be the previous hash it will be zero all right, so let's continue now that we're done with that method. And the other method that we need to create is a method to add blocks to the chain. So here I'm going to create a method that creates a new block and adds it to the block chain. And here I'm just going to put aka the list. All right. So let's go ahead and create that method. It's going to be called add underscore block. And then we need to put self here. And actually, we need to take in some data as well. OK, so I'm going to create a variable called prev underscore block, which will hold the data of the previous block. And we can get that from self dot chain at position negative one. So this will get the last block in the chain right so we we have chain here we have our list and it's going to get the the last element in our list which is indicated by that value negative one all right next we're going to create a variable called new block so you already know what it's going to store which is the new block so we need to create a block object and it needs to take in some data so we're going to take in the data from our parameter here and then it needs to take in a previous blocks hash. So we can get that from prev underscore block dot hash. And that looks good. All right. So last but not least, we need to append this new block to the blockchain. So just type self dot chain dot append new block. And so here we're actually adding that new block to our blockchain okay so let's go ahead and run this let's create a new cell and now in this cell we are going to test the blockchain 
All right, so I'm just going to create a variable called block chain. I'm going to set it equal to block chain. So we're going to create a blockchain object. I'm going to run this. All right, so it gives me an error. Let's see what it is. All right, so it's like I said earlier, it's that hex digest method. So it's not hex C digest, it's just hex digest. And then I'm going to run this cell and I'm going to run this cell. Let's come down and I'm going to run this cell. And now everything is good and we've created our blockchain. So let's take a look at our blockchain. Let's go ahead and try to add some blocks to our blockchain and then take a look at each of those blocks. So I'm going to create a new cell. And here I'm going to add data to the block chain or add how about add blocks to the blockchain all right so here i'm just going to type block chain dot add underscore block and it's just going to take in some data so this will be the first block and i'm just going to highlight all of this i'm going to copy using control c and i'm going to paste it two times using control v and i'm just going to change the data a little bit so here i'm going to put second block and here i'm going to put third block all right so let's go ahead and run this all righty let's create a new cell now i want to print and show the blockchain all right so i'm just going to print blockchain here and then i'm going to loop through our list so or through our blockchain so for block in block chain dot chain remember that chain is our list of blocks i want to print the data so the data will be the genesis block the first block the second block the third block all right so we can get that from block dot data then i want to print the the previous hash so we can get that from block dot prev underscore hash and then I want to print the hash of the current block and we can get that from block dot hash all right and then I'm going to print a new line just to make this more readable all right so let's go ahead and run this and there we go all right so we have our blockchain and we have our genesis block that's the first block in the blockchain with a previous hash of zero because we made it that and then here's the hash for this block okay then we have our first block which is really technically our second block in the blockchain right but it's the first one that we created we can see the previous hash here so this is the previous hash of the previous block so this is the same hash as the genesis block and then we can see first blocks hash here. All right, then we have our second block and we can see the previous hash from that previous block. So this previous, this previous hash is the same hash as the first block here. And then of course, second block has its own hash. All right, and then same thing for the third block. So that's basically it on how to build a basic implementation of a blockchain data structure. Thank you for watching this video and a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel or just get the code, then I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash computer science in the description below. Thank you for watching and I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next video.